Zaharan responds to the question why the why they are going to attack the churches Zaharan's video the 28 minute video clearly states why he attacked the Christians Zaharan believes in the extreme interpretation of the ideology that he believes that is called the alwala walbara ideology and in that he has to hate non muslims and love muslims this is not mainstream islam sri lankan muslims don't subscribe to alwala walbara let me also share with you that zaharan specifically referred to the attack in new zealand in christ church where a christian extremist called brinton tarrant who is australian went to new zealand and attacked two uh, muslim uh, religious places so zaharan gives that as a reason this attack took place on the 15th of march 2019 zaharan staged this attack on the 21st of uh, april 2019 of course zaharan has been preparing much before the christchurch attack to do this attack so zaharan gives the christchurch attack as an as an excuse or justification for his attack because the number one target of the islamic state or isis they are christians they are western countries because it is the western countries that intervene in iraq in afghanistan in other conflict zones to stabilize those countries zaharan also refers in his video to bagus the battle of bagus zaharan in fact uses the term there was a genocide in bagus that is the western forces fighting in bagus where the contained isolated and eliminated the main force of isis or the islamic state but what zaharan says has nothing to do with the thinking of the sri lankan muslim community because sri lankan muslim community lived very harmoniously with all the communities with the buddhists with the christians and with the hindus and they have never had an issue with the christians they have never had a issue with the buddhists they have never had a issue with the hindus when islam is influenced from outside right with these ideologies like jamaat islami ideologies like salafi wahhabism certainly they become political so zaharan became a follow of a brand of political islam we must be very careful because that is not real islam that is a political interpretation of islam and worldwide worldwide there are terrorist attacks conducted by those who are influenced by politics and it is not only muslims christians who are influenced by politics do terrorist attacks jews who are influenced by politics they do attacks then hindus do it they killed uh, gandhi in india i want to say that politics mixing with religion is what creates fire what creates aggression what creates murder and mayhem they say that sri lanka was the best place for people of any religious denomination to live because everyone coexisted today it is not the same case that is why i want muslim leadership to move forward to reform the religious space the sri lankan muslim leaders must guard against those extreme organizations and not these foreign ideologies that have their own agendas 